What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Crypto Night. I am Lemire, your host. And tonight, we'll be looking at the charts. And also, we'll be talking about the three main things you need to do to get into crypto. Let's get started, shall we? On the screen, we have Bitcoin, the king, Bitcoin. We haven't done a Crypto Night show for some time. Have been investing a lot of time in a project I will present pretty soon. Very exciting, very exciting. Uh, a lot of people getting onboarded to the new project and I am loving it. Uh, so, so much time has been allocated to the new upcoming project of the already known Miner Coin, a proud sponsor of the Miner Show. That is right. It is 4-19-2024. It is 10.34 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are looking at the Bitcoin chart at the four hour mark. So if you go to the one hour, you might see different things. Now, let's see what's going on. Bitcoin took a massive crapola. Just like expected, Bitcoin came crashing down yet again to close off this flag. Now, please note that there's still areas where it has not closed yet and it can go back. Don't be fooled, y'all. It can come back all the way down to 52844. Okay? That is possible. Right now, who knows? It already came down to its previous drop, closing off the flag again. So it is likely to go up. Just like all the rest of the coins. So let's start the list of my favorites. That would be uh Tezos on the first on the list first. And Tezos is where we learned about the uh, grazing bonker Soros flag and of course the uh, sick Tyrannosaurus flag. And as you can tell, after the Tyrannosaurus pukes, bounces back up, comes back down, acts like it's gonna come all the way back up, but negative takes a massive, massive fall from $1.27 down to 89 cents ladies and gentlemen if you survive this you are going to be fine crypto is going to be a breeze for you um other than that this is a great time to get in if you're considering getting in the market soon this is the time to do it unless of course if bitcoin comes crashing all the way down again to close these gaps these two gaps here this massive gap here which could drop to 52 and then there's this other one down here that can make it drop to forty three thousand dollars y'all scary stuff if it does continue on a downward you can expect every other coin to do exactly the same thing but the way it looks at the moment it looks like we're headed back up um i would i would think that this would possibly do something like beam beam beep 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 that's what we're looking for the big m for the minor coin therefore releasing us to the next leg up which would continue so on and so forth do, 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 right so that's what we're looking for for tezos let's continue to xlm xlm also closed up very nicely to this point right here which is beautiful that's exactly what it had to do and uh, i would say that xlm is basically done um closing i mean it dropped all the way down here what else do you want of course if bitcoin decides to continue xlm can possibly drop to oh xlm's done y'all xlm can take off i'll be real with you let's see xrp xrp and xlm are quite similar on the way they ride so xrp is also done i mean if anything it does what it always does and it goes past the point where it should should have stopped right there at 47 cents but it always does this little leg down i don't know what it is with xrp now it can continue 
to the downside from this point. And um, I would suggest that the lowest point would be 39 cents, which is quite horrible to go all the way down there since it didn't get all the way down there. It closed to this little flag right here, but it can also come down to this flag down here. So who knows what is coming, but uh, I would say XRP, we are looking for something like blam, 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 blam. It would go something like this to you. Wiggle around a bit, come up some, drop down again, getting us the close on that flag there. Then we'll come up and zigzag, continue upward from there. So it's still some time to wait for XRP. Now know that XRP is known for breaking to the upside in a very very violent way so honestly i don't even know if it's gonna do this it could shoot up at any time xrp has the tendency to just blast off so don't don't put it don't believe that xrp can't pull that off we're down to luna classic everybody of course the most one of the most headed coins in the crypto market right now but as you can see big giant m i hate to tell you guys but terra i mean luna classic is poised to go and it's poised to go big okay i would say ah, whew, these patterns are so similar that from this point I would say little pop up. Oops, wrong tool. We're gonna go for this. So from here, little pop up, sideways action, down, pop up, flag, up, up, dip, down, close up, come here, ziggy ziggy zag, shoot up to the sky, bounce all the way back down. And then we begin again. So we're looking at, you know, somewhere June, July, if this plays out in this manner. But since it, it, it has closed, I mean, it honestly can do something like why? Because Luna Classic is not expected to go anywhere. It is quite simple uh, that uh, it is known that people, when people are not looking or expecting, is when stuff goes. Luna Classic is one of those coins that will shock the world because nobody believes in it. I love that about Luna Classic. Let's go to the next one. This is Dash OG Coin completed every close it can i mean and we're looking at the four hour chart so guys i would say dash is poised to go there's nothing else to say to dash dash is ready to go uh this is casper casper as well uh gave us a big giant m of course we know casper has shown many different kind of flags showing this whole sideways trend but from this point i mean what else do you want we have multiple uh test back test and it, it held so far so at this point i would say casper is also ready to go uh gala games gala games one of the coins that took off here recently as you can see this massive jump from down here massive jump retraced all the way down closed perfectly like right on the dot so gala games ready to go all these coins are looking like they're ready to go let's be real every one of them came all the way down and closed their flags which is exactly what we're, we're looking for the newcomer is um graph this i picked up recently because i had to make some transactions and i decided to keep it so um graph same thing look at that went all the way up 
came back down closed it off it's ready to go very likely past its recent high um how high can it go who knows now it, crypto is acting so strange the flare token the redhead stepchild the flare token which uh gave us the red rooster flag and the howling wolf flag so it printed a second red rooster and we're expecting a howling wolf next from here as you can see it's already beginning to form the howling wolf here soon that's what we're looking for so that we could get our next flag up tonight we're using the four hour we usually use the one hour but I want to look at a broader view because I have not done a crypto video for some time. Now, the three things that you need to get into crypto. And what is crypto? For all you newcomers, this video is to show you guys what you need to do to get into crypto. First of all, you need to fund an account. Therefore, you need money. Digital form. Unless you find a, a Bitcoin machine somewhere. Then you can buy your Bitcoin in that machine, have a wallet, buy a wallet, things like that. So first and foremost, you need to have an app where you buy your coins. I will link the three of my favorite apps down in the description. And I have talked about these apps prior to this. So you need a funding account in a bank account savings account so on and so forth where you can pull your money even a credit card pull your money from there and put it into your wallet in a exchange you get an exchange app and that's where you purchase your crypto by funding that wallet with your bank account from that point you can either keep your coins in an exchange or, or you could get yourself something like this. This is a Nano Ledger. This is the Nano Ledger X provided by Toto, one of our subscribers. Very, 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 very loyal soldier of the Miner Coin and the Miner Channel. I also have a Nano Ledger X, which I use personally. And uh, it's very good cold storage. What is cold storage? It's the equivalent of having a safe inside your house. If your bank closes, it's best to have some cash in hand, but you can't just have it all willy nilly everywhere. You put it inside a safe. Well, in crypto, these, these apps go haywire and you can't get access to your money when you mostly need it, like when you need to sell, for example. Therefore, the best thing to do is to get a nano ledger or cold storage wallet where you pull your funds, you pull your crypto out of the exchange and put it in your wallet for safe storage. You always have access to it there. So the three things, bank account, credit card, an app that will allow you to purchase crypto like Uphold, Coinbase, uh, Crypto.com, eToro and you also need a cold storage wallet to keep your money safe we'll get more into depth into this and start walking through you uh, walking you guys through this as we uh roll through this bull run look at look at here look at here it is 10 38 and bitcoin just turned green yeah so don't miss out this is a perfect time to get in the market i mean it would have been better if you would have got in at 59,000, but 63 is not bad it will continue to the upside or crash down to the downside you can bet on that for sure this is el miner till next time